How do we put emotion into our drawings? It's a good question and it's one that I was recently asked. So I thought I'd make this video just with a few of my ideas about how this works. Sometimes I think it can be helpful to understand what something means by considering at the start, what does the opposite thing mean? How does it look when we don't have this thing happening? So what's the drawing that is lacking emotion in it? And I think that's more straightforward to think of. It would be a drawing that was perhaps stiff, mechanical, precise, not actually anything wrong with it. The perspective would be in place and, and all of these things. But everything being even a little too precise, a little too measured, a little too ordered, a little too the same. So how do we get emotion into our drawings? Well, our drawings in the end consist of marks, lines, dashes, dots, jots, jabs, hatches, all manner of marks made with our pen or our pencil or our brush, whatever. And so any emotion we're going to see, we're going to see through those marks, created by those marks and how they are and how they're positioned. But that doesn't mean that putting emotions, putting feelings into our drawing starts with those marks because those marks start in our mind. They start in the creative processes that take place that determine what marks we will put where. That's the place where everything that ends up on our paper comes from, the source of the creative translation process. And it's that creative process that guides whatever marks we use and guides where we put them on our paper. So if we feel our drawings are lacking emotion, it may be that there's a lack of emotion in that process, in that creative translation process. And that can come from a couple of different places. I think it's helpful to ask, why am I drawing this scene? Because there are actually lots of different possible answers for that. Is it because I like it? Is it because it looks easy? Is it because I think it will make a dramatic drawing? Is it because I think it will be a popular drawing and will do well on social media? Is it because I'm being paid to draw it? that I have a commission for this subject. There are different reasons why we choose a scene to draw. And different reasons can carry different amounts of passion and different types of passion. If I'm drawing a scene because I love the subject and I love the scene, then it's going to be very hard for that not to be wanting to flow into my mark because it's all mixed up in my thinking from the word go. The fact that I love this scene so much means there'll be some particular things about it that, that I will really want to do well, that I will really want to express well because they're the things that really stir my emotions the best. So I'm going to be focusing on those in my reference more and I'm going to be giving more thought to thinking about how I can represent this well. So there might be a greater level of creativity in my mind before I even put the pen on the paper. And then I might be a, a little more slow or tentative. I might even practice some marks on a scrap sheet of paper because I have a stronger sense of something that I'm wanting to capture. I'm having a stronger motivation than what I have perhaps in drawing other parts of this same picture, parts that don't move me quite so much. And all the time, my feelings are guiding my choices. So if I feel passionate about my subject, then there's certainly more chance of emotion going into it. And in fact, if I'm not feeling passionate about my subject, but I'm drawing it because I think it's going to be popular, then I have none of that fueling the process. I think this is why artists often find commissions amongst the hardest things to do, because these are not usually subjects that we have a natural or a necessary affinity with. We don't necessarily like them, someone else does. So we don't have that head start of passion that, that pushes and fuels our thinking. It does become more of a mechanical process. But even if we have a subject that we feel passionate about, that doesn't necessarily mean that translates into marks that carry that passion, that show that emotion, that are guided and directed by that emotion. We still need to have a certain level of skill, I believe, for that to happen. And I think it comes down to whether we draw our lines very self-consciously and perhaps more aware of or more focused on making a mistake than anything else. And so we're careful and cautious, working very hard to get things in the right place 
as opposed to we have confidence in our mark making and particularly in our lines that when we aim to draw a line in a certain place that it's almost certainly going to end up approximately or adequately in the right place. When, when we're not focused on worrying that it's going to be a right or a wrong line, then there's more energy left, more attention for our feelings to flow into that line. But if all the time I'm focused on my, on my lines, on every line, I'm focused on getting things right, and particularly if I'm very afraid of getting things wrong, that can really take the soul out of our line work. The place I want to be in with my lines is that I'm excited about my drawing. I'm focused on something in it. And that part that I'm focused on particularly will come alive in my lines because I have an energy and a concentration and an observation and an awareness of that. And I think it also means that we don't necessarily put the same attention into all our lines, that the parts of our drawing that we have most passion for, if you like, get the most attention, get the most energy. And as we move out or away from that spot, our line work starts to become a little perhaps more loose, uh, less detailed, not careless, but more relaxed because it's not having to convey the same amount of feeling. And therefore, the parts that do contain that feeling in comparison seem even more vibrant, alive, because every line Every mark is not placed, if you like, equally. Some lines are more equal than others. The lines that, that, that contained more of the meaning of the scene that generated our emotion, our passion for it. Those lines contain more. They're done more carefully, not necessarily more slowly, but with more intention. And I think this shows. So then to answer the question, how do I put emotion in my drawings? Firstly, it's to choose subjects where I have emotions where I am excited, I am passionate, I am captured in some way by something in this scene, in this reference, in what's in front of me, or even what's in my imagination that I want to draw. Because if I have a passion, I now have a guiding feeling in my mind through the creative translation process of what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, and now the marks I will choose to make. And I also have a focused energy, if you like emotional energy, in that mark making. And some parts of my drawing will show that more than other parts that are less important to the emotional excitement of the scene for me. And that will create movement. And of course, I don't mean drawn more carelessly, but, but more gesturally with a, with a greater freedom. So the two things I need if I'm going to put emotion into my drawings is I need to have the emotions in the first place. I need to feel the excitement. I need to feel something for my scene, for my subject, because I can't put into my drawings what I don't first have myself within me. But then I can have these feelings and I still need to have the ease with making my marks. I still need to have a certain skill level in drawing lines, in doing dashes, in doing hatching, so that I'm not focused on just trying to accomplish the line each line, line after line after line, because that will create a very dead, stiff, wooden effect, almost like the whole drawing was drafted. What I want is that I have all this skill in creating lines and marks. And if you like, it's a toolbox and I can reach in and pull out whichever tool I need so that I can be unselfconscious with making the marks. And that frees me up to be conscious in choosing what marks I want to make and how I want to make them. Look, you may have a different thought about how we put feelings, emotion into our drawings. And of course, some artists deliberately don't want to put feelings into their drawing. And that's part of what they're trying to do when they create these works. But if I'm wanting to put more feeling into my drawings, if I feel like they're looking a bit dead, a bit lifeless, a bit lacking feeling somehow, then this is the way to me, it seems, that it happens. I hope it's been helpful for you in your thinking and in your drawing. G'day, I'm Stephen Travers. But look, whatever you draw and however you want to draw it, with or without emotions coming through in your marks, make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.